more salt. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of my favorite recipes, six ingredient fluffy ass vegan pancakes. I love this recipe because it's perfect for a lazy weekend morning when you are tired, you're sleeping in, you don't want to scramble around your kitchen for a million different things to make an elaborate breakfast. This one is super low key, super easy to make, and quite a crowd pleaser. Also, you probably have all of the ingredients for it sitting in your pantry right now. And like most pancake recipes, you can customize it to your preferences. So you can throw in some chocolate chips if you want, which is my personal favorite way to eat pancakes. You can put in some blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. You can even make your own syrup, putting in some frozen berries into a small saucepan with some sugar and water and reduce it down until it's a syrupy consistency. Mm. But today I'm just gonna be showing you this basic recipe and you can take it in whatever direction you want. So to start making your pancakes, to a large bowl, you're going to add two cups of all-purpose flour. This can be white flour or whole wheat flour, whichever you prefer. Two tablespoons of baking powder. And yes, you really do need two whole tablespoons. Since we're not using eggs, we need the extra baking powder to give our pancakes the extra lift that it needs so they can be nice and fluffy. Two tablespoons of sugar, about half a teaspoon of cinnamon, but honestly, if you are a cinnamon lover, you could add one to two whole teaspoons of cinnamon if you love the flavor of it, just to give it that extra punch of cinnamon. You can even add pumpkin pie spice instead of cinnamon. There are so many different ways to take this recipe. You're also gonna need some freshly grated nutmeg, and of course, I always advocate for fresh nutmeg because that is just where it is at people if you haven't experienced it you have to and when you add fresh nutmeg you really don't need a lot it's super strong super flavorful if you're using the ground stuff i would add in like a quarter teaspoon and a pinch of salt to bring out all the flavors you're going to whisk together all of the dry ingredients and then you're going to add in one and a half cups of water plus about like two tablespoons, so like a splash of water. Once you add the water, you can mix everything together. Make sure that you only mix until everything is fully combined. It's okay if there's a few lumps, that's kind of inevitable with this recipe, but you don't want to overmix it, otherwise your pancakes will just turn out really gummy and not very good. Then you're going to take a non-stick skillet or pan and heat it over like medium, medium high heat. Get the pan nice and hot and then ladle in your pancake batter. Once the batter starts to bubble and the bottom gets a nice golden brown, you can flip your pancake and cook it for another minute or so. I topped mine with some Earth Balance vegan butter and some real maple syrup. And if you decide to leave out the vegan butter, this recipe is completely oil free. Hey! Thanks so much for tuning in everyone. I really hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you did, give it a thumbs up and comment down below telling me your favorite way to eat pancakes. And please hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to click the bell icon so you are notified every time I post a new video. Make sure that you take care of yourself this week, eat good breakfast food, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.